What's going on guys, hey, it's Greg Meese Chris Dyes, and today we're gonna to do a highly requested video, and I can do more videos in this vein if you guys want, but this is gonna be a what do we use to film. So we have camera gear that we use to film, all these videos that you see, but mainly people wanna know about the highlights. So we've been doing highlights uh, ever since Stevenson in 2012, um, been one of the leaders in that space, and um, we try and put out a highlight each week in the main seasons, the spring, the summer, then the fall. And it's a lot of fun. I make most of them. I have a blast doing it. I love going out to film. It's something I've taught myself a little bit and also learned from our employee, Josh Rotman, who was here for a couple years and produced some of the best seasons of Stang's Family and Fear the Turtle. There's a lot of creators out there that are looking to come up. So today I'll tell you uh, what we use to film. And this stuff is definitely, I would say, in the mid to higher end of the budget. So if you're looking at it started, there's also tiered down versions of this. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. Um, but there's gear to fit every budget. So without much further ado, let's hop right into it. This is the gear that we shot with last year and will continue to shoot with. Probably won't switch out for another um, at least 18 months, but this stuff does switch out fast. So we are on uh, Sony mirrorless cameras. This is because mainly Josh um, really liked Sony when he got here, uh, got us into Sony. I find that they have some of the best video settings, some of the best autofocus. Um, and I've just really liked them so far relative to Canon or Nikon or Panasonic. So the main video camera we use is the A7S III. This was a video focus model that came out a couple years ago. It shoots 4K 120 frames. It's a mirrorless camera. And then we've got this uh, small rig cage on it. So if you drop it, uh, it won't get all that damage. You can also add microphones, handles, uh, monitors, all that good stuff to it. So it makes it a little heavier, but also it's just easier to add things to. So it has a flip out screen for filming. Again, can do high resolution and slow motion. Um, it's a really solid video camera and this was pretty future proof when we bought it. So hopefully it will last a couple of years. And then our second camera is the A7 IV. Uh, this is more of a hybrid camera, so it shoots high resolution photos and also does pretty solid video. So we use this for both photo and video, mostly for our second camera. So it uh, has the same small rig cage on it. So those are our two cameras, A7S III, A7 IV, um, that we're combining for most of the content. Looking at accessories, I don't do a lot, but I do do a microphone. This is a Rode shotgun microphone, pretty basic one. Um, and this is a small HD, small monitor. It's really bright and just helps so you're not staring at the tiny screen. You can see what you're looking at a little bit better. And this basically just attaches uh, right onto the front of the handle like that so you can get those low shots or, you know, just a lot easier to see when you're filming. And then we do a lot of GoPro content. So we have two, we have a GoPro 11, and this is a GoPro Black 7. Really any of them work well as long as they're after they did the hyper smooth stabilization, which was a big deal for GoPro. So we don't do these too often, but we'll put them in the goal sometimes, or we'll put them on top of players like we just did Brock at Project 9. And I think it's a really cool perspective, especially when combined with the sideline highlights. And now let's talk lenses. Uh, so the body's important um, because it determines what resolution and frame rate you can shoot. The lenses are important because it also determines basically how zoomed in you can go. Uh, so we have three main lenses, starting off with this one. This is a wider Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. Uh, this is really great for pregame shots because uh, it can go a little wider and is really sharp. Um, has a little bit of zoom, but not a ton. It's also a lot of stuff we do in the studio here. This was the first zoom lens we had. So this is a Sony 70 to 300. Uh, so 300 is pretty zoomed in. You can get those tight shots or shoot all the way down the field when you're on the sideline. This is a slightly less expensive lens and they make, this is a Sony version, they make other brands like Tamron for cheaper. Again, if you're on a budget, you can still get into this stuff. And finally, this is our newest lens. This is the uh, Sony 70 to 200 F2.8. So this is like the flagship model. Most people you see on the sideline doing video are gonna have this lens. Um, it's really sharp and a low aperture means it's going to be really great in low light and really crisp. It is extremely heavy um, and very, very big, so you got to keep that in mind. Um, but it zooms in to 200 uh, and it's a really great multi-purpose lens for photo and video. Again, this is super expensive, so it's easier to start um, with lower models, but the lenses don't cycle as much. These lenses will last a very long time, whereas the bodies will get outdated more quickly. So this is the stuff we'll be filming with for the next year or so, all the spring highlights you'll see. Uh, make sure you subscribe. We put out a ton of highlights, the best high school across in the country. Let me know if you have comments uh, down below, questions, we'd be happy to answer them. If you want more videos 
about how we film, the specifics, how we edit, maybe working on your recruiting films, I'd be happy to make those videos. So thanks for watching and have a great day.